Hello and welcome to the Armanino Consulting Microsoft Dynamics CRM tutorial series. My name is Rob Harrison and I'll be your host. Today our topic is on knowledge base articles. So let's jump right into the software. You'll see that my landing page is taking me to the dashboards area. I want to get to the knowledge base and uh, first a uh, little tip for you is that it's referred to in CRM as articles. And so we in our workplace we go articles and we see I have my system defaulting to show me the published articles. And if I grab that drop down, you'll see that I can have articles in different states. I can have them as drafts, approved, unapproved, or see the list of everything in the whole system. And we'll take a look at where they drop into these different phases as we create one. So let's go ahead and take a look at new. Now there are different templates that they have built into the system to help us with consistency. So for adding a knowledge base article, which is a procedure, it lays it out so that we build that article with a specific format so that everybody in the organization follows a certain protocol and that makes it much more consistent and makes it easier to know what am I supposed to write so for the one we're gonna do is on how to change a tire and that is a procedure so let's select that first one so we're gonna give it a name uh, from our subject list, this is taken care of in the settings business management area. I'm going to choose what's already there for a service. Uh, some keywords, so if folks don't know exactly what they're looking for, we'll add some keywords to it. And the purpose and the scope, it's kind of an overall introduction to it. The actual procedure you should follow when changing a tire. And any conclusionary comments. So we're going to go ahead and hit save and this puts it into the system in a draft state. Right now if we were searching the knowledge base for a solution on how to change a tire this would not even come up because it's as I said in a draft state. We have to first go through a series of approval processes. After we save it we need to submit it for approval and there should be someone or a series of folks in your organization defined as the people that review the submitted articles and then uh, have the ability to either approve or reject those. So right now again it's still not in our knowledge base accessible to the general users as a, a viable approved process to go through. In order to get there, someone needs to approve it. And let's go ahead and select that option. So now, when we go back into our list of articles, and we could see all, and this shows us everything that we have in the system. If we only want to look at the ones that are published and approved, here we go. And there's our one on how to change a tire. So when somebody comes to this and they want to know what that process is, just like everywhere else in the application, you double click on it, opens it up, gives you the, in this instance, the step-by-step -step instructions of how to utilize that, those instructions. So you can access the articles, the knowledge base from the workplace under articles or another really powerful place that you can take advantage of these is in the service area if you're using the case management component of CRM so let's take a look at that real quick I'm gonna head over to service and my list of cases and um, let's see we have a case here referring to a flat tire let's open that up I'm gonna head down to the notes and article area and here's where I can search for a knowledge base article. Is there anything in the system that might help me resolve this case? So let's click on that. I am going to open this up so it's a bit more broad in the search uh, so I don't have to type it exactly. So I'm going to do a keyword search and use words like because I know the person has a flat tire. So I'm going to look for the word flat and see if there's anything in the knowledge base. Hey, there you go. How to change a flat tire. If I want to view it before I attach it to the case, I can do that. Determine that, oh, this is or is not what I need to share with the, that customer to resolve their issue. I'm going to say, yes, indeed, it is. If I want to see what the article looks like on the case itself, show it here. And then check this out. This is really cool. I can email this article directly to the person from CRM. 
So I don't have to open up a separate window, cut and paste into my Outlook. This can go straight out of CRM and sent to the customer. So there is a quick introduction to CRM and the knowledge base and the article components. I hope you found that valuable. If you'd like to learn more about implementing Microsoft CRM within your organization, please give us a call or drop us an email. We'd be happy to help you through the process. Thanks so much and have a great day.